My family is centered mainly around my son, who is as lovely as can be. Always got a, such a big smile on his face, especially when it comes to music, listening to his favorite sort of nursery rhymes, or Catherine Jenkins for that matter. But also he has additional complex needs, speech and language delay, the fact that he can't express what he wants or what he's feeling when he's agitated. His epilepsy is sort of the most recent one. It was tough. It was tough for us as a family to be able to understand what was wrong with our son. Although the support available from all the health professionals and everyone I've seen has been amazing, the journey itself to getting a diagnosis for Arvin has actually been very long and tedious. We made a case for him when he was about one. He was diagnosed uh, when he was three and that was um, after we'd done various tests on him. It's a long wait for a parent to not know what's wrong with your child. It was the rapid exome sequencing test that allowed us to discover the variant gene of DHDDS in our VIN. We had uh, an appointment to see the geneticist we were planning to have another baby. She suggested that we do the sequencing test. It was tough to initially accept. At the same time, it was actually such a relief. The gene is very much linked to all the, all the causes or all the problems that we see in Arvin, like ASD, epilepsy, um, speech and language delay. Having some answers, it's also helped us better access the support that is out there. I had the CVS procedure done on the pregnancy to check for the DHDDS gene and I was told the baby doesn't carry the gene, so everything was normal. If I hadn't done the sequencing test, it would have been totally different. The big weight has been carried off my shoulders. 